Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now if this occurs then Bitcoin will definitely see movement in its price and of course even though the crypto markets king coin Bitcoin had a stupendous rally during the initial few months of 2021 the persistent bearish phase that commenced right after uh, after that uh, movement has managed to dominate the market now and over the past week Bitcoin shared 4% of its value it was actually trading in the 33,000 range at the time of making this video. But nevertheless, the sole unannounced question that hovers the market at the moment is, when will Bitcoin start rallying up again? Well, even though there is no straightforward answer to this question, Bitcoin's own chain metrics do provide certain hints. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please do consider subscribing for daily cryptocurrency news updates. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do. Now let's get into this video. And of course, at the time of making this video, reserve risk indicator, which tracks risk reward balance with, of course, respect to the confidence and conviction of long-term hodlers, stood at 0 0.003. And this should be noted that a lower reserve risk implies high hodler confidence. And of course, arguably at this stage, the risk reward to invest remains pretty attractive. And actually in mid-April, when the coin hits its all-time high, then the reserve risk stood at 0 0.007. And in that perspective, the present 0 0.003 signals is actually a signal that a relative undervaluation of Bitcoin is seen. Now, the RR index had peaked during Bitcoin's rallies in 2013 and as well as 2017. But of course, after that, the coin underwent a strong bearish phase and the RR parallelly shrank as well. And the comparison suggests, uh, that I've just mentioned has actually suggested that Bitcoin's price movement has followed the same direction as the RR index. Now, the fact this metric is on the fall and hasn't bottomed out uh, goes on to suggest that the bear run hasn't concluded and despite the slight respite, a further downtrend can be expected in the coming days. And of course, another key metric worth considering at this point is Bitcoin's volatility. And at the time of making this video, the metric was continuing to drop. And actually, according to Beat Premier's chart, the 30-day Bitcoin US dollar volatility stood at 4%. And that is actually a level that was previously witnessed in March this year days before Bitcoin went on to hit its all-time high. Of course, if parallels had to be drawn, keeping other factors aside, the Bitcoin should likely be able to repeat its April all-time high streak in the coming few days. But of course, that's not how the Bitcoin market usually works. Of course, as you all know, and diminishing volatility usually shuts the door for any dramatic price action. And keeping in mind the current slugginess, the odds of Bitcoin oscillating in its current 30,000 and 40,000 range bound region that is happening for the next few days remains slightly higher than a complete change in trend. But of course, adding to that, Bitcoin's MVRV uh, difference indicated a key emerging trend. And this indicator just dipped below 0% for the first time in 14 months. This July, it was actually on 10th July, and whenever this long-term indicator veers negative, it actually implies that a combination of short-term and long-term traders are underwater in their investments. And for that reason, this dip actually shows that Bitcoin is in the buy zone and on-chain data aggregator platform sentiment in one of its late, latest tweets had actually said that when this occurs, Bitcoin is likely to see an increase in market price. So, should we expect an increase in market price? That is what everybody is saying. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.